We got a new Star Season Alpha 4.0 patch tonight. We're going to talk about that as well as a new patch watch that just dropped today. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway with on Alti Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribe and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So let's just get straight into it. The patch for 4.0 just dropped still for wave one. And they made a few updates for this one. Under features and gameplay, under the core tech uh, category here, it says uh, they did a physics performance polish. They did a uh, further jump tunnel performance lighting audio and vfx polish further hud component performance optimizations has been they made various memory use uh, improvements made various improvements to help with small rendering stalls they also they also did a screen space reflection polish it says here fixed camera toggle glitch on ssr fixed ssr reprojection and various water ssr filtering improvements has been done um, they have a few boxes for this one. They fix an issue where the Kzar Grazer, they fix an issue where objective markers disappear after a client force crash. They fix an issue where party way through the jump tunnel, uh, the player screen will turn white. They fix an issue causing almost no asteroids to spawn in a gas cloud. And they fix an issue where AI will not perform dialogue or performance dialogue options. All right. Along with this is five client crash fixes. Uh, including the major crash the desktop around the jump points that's nice they have server uh crash fixes as well as two server deadlock fixes all right so now let's get into the star citizen alpha 4.0 patch watch it says fire and metal it says welcome to our second edition to the patch watch for 4.0 in our patch watch series we highlight upcoming features improvements and fixes not shown in the public roadmap with pyro server meshing and new missions and more coming to the verse there's a lot of new content to explore however there is a few updates that might not get um, picked up on your radar which you can find below i really like these ones these are more so like quality of life type of uh, updates that they do that really make a difference in the long run the very first one here says epic loot no contest it says with contested zones are coming to the verse in 4.0 all new location types first arrive in pyro system with uh, uniquely crafted areas provided both a challenge against entrenched pirate gang as well as other players after the same treasure you are it's really interesting because those are going to be very exciting i'm really looking forward to those he continues to say one such gang is community crafted fire rats a criminal and religious organization they revere pyro star and solar flares it plays the system with other than their self-inflicted scarring from observing the star they're most famous for being ship jackers so make sure your ramps are closed really interesting it says here below are some of the examples of the spells you may find within these zones controlled by fire rats with a heated distorted design to complement the gang's aesthetics other gangs have their heels dug into the pyro system such as horizon uh xeno threat and more and all with their own spoils uh follow the trail of treasure and risk will be worth the reward be really interesting so um the fire rats do have a certain um set of armor what I'll do is I'll put up an image of, of all these things here in a set of armor. Um, it looks like some guns that we may see. Um, you may find once you're there. And uh, yeah, it looks it looks really interesting. Uh, so if you want to collect these things, I think it'll be great to do these contested zones for these different um, that is controlled by these different gangs. So really interesting. The next one here is the Ammo Carrick uh, New Groove, it says here. In case you missed the first episode of the IAE show, a pair of updates are making their way over to the Ammo Carrick in Alpha 4.0. The cargo pods on the sides of the ship now have both functioning doors as well as cargo grids. It greatly increased the functionality cargo capacity of the Carrick hauler Rejoice. You're now able to fully and easily utilize additional 456 su of cargo provided by these pods that's big that's a lot of cargo space uh with the carrick so it's been a long time since uh they finally updated the cargo uh pods to be at least be open right now they can't retract down but at least they can be open and you can remove things out of them so it's really good 
plus the long-awaited blast shields for the bridge have arrived sport your shades just in time for the pyro system both updates are now available to the Carrick pilots on the ptu really really nice i'm going to show some images of this i'm sure you guys see some videos of these uh themselves but uh it's really cool the next one is uh the foip improvement it says here alpha four panel brings with it a number of improvements to foip system foip uses your webcam to capture your facial expression and mimic them on your character in game in real time to enhance your sense of immersion head tracking rotation has been added range motion for the mouth is now wider stability has been added to help jitter in both low lights and high light conditions secondary motion have been added for extreme poses the tracking algorithm has been refined overall which is really nice all these updates provide much more accurate tracking better expression mapping and an overall smooth experience with using foip uh, time to make some faces really interesting i'm really looking forward to testing this out to see if it's actually worth using again before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industry is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are just find a discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one